Right, great. So thanks for joining us here today. We're here to launch the New South Wales Greens election initiative, which is going to stand up for renters' rights in the inner city and across New South Wales to address the long-term challenge around the idea of housing and home insecurity for people that are renters. We have seen that the growing cost of living in Sydney has been a massive challenge and problem and it's the Greens that are here today to be able to announce an initiative and a plan that will provide a solution to addressing the rental crisis and the housing challenges that we face in the inner city of Sydney. My name's Jenny Leong and I'm the Greens candidate for the state seat of Newtown and I'm pleased to be joined here today by my Greens colleagues, Jamie Parker, the member for Balmain and Scott Ludlam, the Green Senator for WA. The initiative, just to run through it briefly, is a commitment of the Greens to introduce a bill to New South Wales Parliament that will do three things. It will provide a cap on rental increases in line with CPI, and it will also require that there is not an increase of rent other than every annual, every year. In addition to that, what we'll see is a removal of the no grounds eviction uh, ability of landlords. That means that tenants will be provided with a level of security and that security will enable them to not just live in their home without that fear of a no grounds eviction but also put down roots in the community and we know that having healthy communities relies on long-term integrated communities where people can have their children going to school at their local school, they can be having their um, connection with their community garden or their local cafes and shops and that's how we create and maintain a vibrant and diverse city that people like so much. The increase that we've seen in rental costs within the inner city has been a huge concern and something that the Greens bill would address. What we have seen is massive increases and if the Greens plan had been in place 10 years ago in the Marrickville local government area we would have seen rents be less uh, reduced by about $126 on average per week. That's a significant reduction to people that are struggling to live in the inner city and it's the kind of change that the Greens are willing to do to be talking to policy advocates out on the street door knocking, talking to people that are renting in areas like Chippendale, Newtown and Redfern and in that what we see is a recognition that they want real policy change on this issue and it's the Greens that are working to provide that policy change. I'll now hand over to Jamie Parker who will say a few words. Uh, the issue of rent and the unaffordability of housing is an issue not just for people in Sydney but across the whole of New South Wales. We know that the issue of rent is one of the biggest social justice issues in our community. We need to be doing all we can to afford, improve the affordability of housing and this package will bring some balance back into the market. The balance between landlords and renters to make sure that good landlords can keep good tenants and that tenants aren't exploited by bad landlords. The approach that the Greens are taking is one that will bring balance into the system to make sure that there isn't exploitation of tenants by dramatic increases in rents and there can be some stability enjoyed by tenants, many of whom have made the decision to rent, quite frankly, for life. It's important that the Greens message and the Greens legislation that we introduce get supported. We're calling on both parties to support uh, our legislation to help protect tenants, to make sure that tenants can be treated fairly and to have a system that's balanced, that respects the role of tenants and ensures that they can have quality, stable housing at an affordable price. Right. Well, um, I'm really happy to uh, be here with these folks supporting this bill. The idea of nationally consistent uh, laws protecting the rights of tenants is one that's long overdue and I really congratulate these guys for bringing the bill into New South Wales Parliament. What we have seen effectively is a result uh, of, among other things, deliberate tax policy set by previous governments of both flavours is an entire generation of young Australians priced out of affordable housing. These are people who will never be able to own their own home. And so we're seeing a whole generation of people getting used to the idea, young and old, getting used to the idea that they may well be renters for life. And that means we need to update our tenancy laws to provide for stability and security of tenure. New South Wales, unfortunately, is one of the worst examples of inconsistency where you can be kicked out of your tenancy no matter how long you've lived there for no reason at all, literally on a whim. That's one of the things that we would like to bring in line with uh, national consistent standards that protect the rights of tenants. So I look forward to um, progressing this issue federally and at a state level here in New South Wales.